Just 40 days to go until the election. The candidates aren't wasting any time getting back out on the campaign yeah, trail. And today, Donald Trump is scheduled to speak at the Mid-America Center in Council Bluffs. That's where we find Jenna Janes this morning. Jenna, have you been able to talk to any supporters out there yet? None just yet. Actually, not many have shown up. In fact, none have shown up that we know of as of right now. Media is kind of filling in here as expected since so many of us are out early covering this. But I will put this into perspective. Just a few months ago, Hillary Clinton already had a number of supporters out here starting at 5 30 in the morning, but then again, Trump's event is a little bit later. Now, if you're interested in seeing the Donald later today, we have a link posted on WOWT.com with how you can register for tickets. Again, that's here at the Mid American Center in Council Bluffs. He's scheduled to speak at 3 o'clock. The doors open at noon. Now, Trump is trying to capitalize on the excitement of the first debate from Monday night, one in which the pundits and even some Republicans agree just wasn't his night. On Tuesday, the candidate spoke in Florida to a packed house. In the 24 hours after the debate, he's raised nearly $18 million for his campaign with a message that he believes he won the debate. For 90 minutes on issue after issue, Hillary Clinton defended the terrible status quo while I laid out our plan, all of us together, to bring jobs, security, and prosperity back to the American people. Now, originally, Trump was supposed to be in Ottumwa, Iowa. That's a city about a third the size of Council Bluffs, and it's on the southeastern side of the state. Dave Cerise, his schedule today actually starts in Chicago. He then comes here to Council Bluffs and then moves on to Wisconsin. A big day for him right here in the Midwest. Yeah, busy day, too. So, Jenna, we know Iowa is the battleground state, but any reason why he's visiting Council Bluffs today? Well, as you said, we did have that presidential debate just recently. He's trying to capitalize on that, so he's here. But on top of that, early voting actually begins tomorrow. And in a state where both Hillary and Trump are pretty close in the polls, they're both going to need as much time here as they can to try to win those crucial votes. All right, Jenna Jane's reporting live this morning. Jenna, thank you.